Welcome back to African Born Adventures. On this episode, we're traveling around the province on a bow hunting road trip targeting the iconic warthog and bushbuck. In the previous two episodes, we managed to arrow a few warthogs in Pala and Nyala for the proverbial pot. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the action. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do that now so you don't miss out seeing any future episodes. First up, we join Aiden with his Bowtech and Corbin, who's entrusted with the filming duties sneaking up into archery range on a big warthog ball. total we managed to get four hogs in 24 hours with the bow with Corbin getting stuck into a nice size sow which left Aubrey feeling a little bit yeah. gated. I also managed to find some form and sent a couple of arrows through two pigs to wrap up our time at Uncle Kev's beautiful farm. Thanks Kev. Should be an easy blood track. We left early the next morning in search of a bushbuck, which proved far too early for me, obviously. After spotting a ram with some funky twisted horns, we set off on making a stalk on him while trying to avoid the hardy dar and guinea fowl alarm systems that were feeding in the lands. Yeah, we got a little bit crawl through this ditch. Get past those guineas. Get down here. Yeah. Go as low as you can. Those guinea fowl see us this came over. A few minutes went by and then we spotted him, a monster of a ram, on the edge of the pivot. A ram of anyone's dreams, let alone mine. He's a chief. We decided to make a stalk on him in the little depression, but that all fell flat when something spooked the ram and sent him flying straight in our direction. He's coming, he's coming. He's coming. Draw your bow. Draw your bow. Draw your bow. Draw, draw. Draw. Bat. Bat. Hey. How's it around? It's frustrating. He's running straight to us. He stopped at about 30. Is that a ram of your dreams or what? We're going to make it a mission to get that ram. 
you know, hindsight's always a perfect science, but if we had waited here, yeah, that ram would have run right to us. Let's get out of here, bud. We're gonna hindsight this ram in two days' time, don't worry. I'm just worried you weren't excited enough about that whole situation. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah? Shoot. We saw a mother truck of a ram, we nearly got him now. Anything here? Just a U and a darker. Corbs? Corby? Sleeping. Yeah. Corb, wake him up, get him out of the sun. Yoke's gonna fry you. Get in the truck, come. We put away a few snacks to hit the spot and after a short nap we were ready to hit the afternoon with pace. Okay, let's do this. Let's go find a bushbuck ram. Alright. Reckon this morning it's a nice little starter, little test run. Now we're gonna go find a nice big bushbuck ram and uh, put an arrow in it. Alright. <laughs>
Beijing. Beautiful. Beautiful. the trees yeah set up you just it does what i need five yeah and you set up just yes for the man This is a great run. Let's get it out. Got it out there, eh? Just watch you guys see if you got it. Yeah. Someone got my bow. This is the one I saw uh, yeah, the Friday yeah. afternoon. Eh? Yeah, okay. okay. Yes, it's quite a good run. It's a good run. It's a good run. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. Look at the neck on this ram. No, it's a freaking tank. Okay, what a quick story. So we got the wind right, we clicked right in there. We got a little bit further than I'd like to shoot, but managed to make it count. And uh, I am over the moon. I, I can't tell you how long I've been pursuing bushback ram with a bow. And to hear that impact, yeah, oh my gosh, that was, that is a, a, a sound to behold. Thanks to Aubrey and the boys and helped them to find a ram. Thank you to Jean, thank you so much for what arranging a this. I haven't even met you yet, but hopefully soon. <laughs> and thanks to Thunder for quick putting in her services right at the end here. There's no light left. Uh, the sun had already torn out, gone down. And so the timing actually was perfect because that when that sun was very low like that we couldn't even see anything couldn't see anything through the video camera nothing so he jumped out at the right time and Aubrey twisted my arm to to take a shot so flip thank you um, what an incredible what a beauty he has got hoding as they say I hope you enjoyed that hunt I want to extend a really big thank you to Quissy and your brothers for allowing us to come and hunt your special property to Jean for your kindness and making it possible and to Aubrey for filming and setting up the day. What a story it's been. I've been chasing this ram for many seasons. Not this one in particular, but any ram with a bow. And when he came out like that, uh, the, felt like someone was strangulating me around the neck. The, 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 uh, the adrenaline was real to see this oak jump over that fence and, and be able to put an arrow in him is just dream come true. Hashtag strangulation. Thanks for watching up until now. Next week we're chasing some kudu, so be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out.